in whose steps I walk, in whose steps I walk and, gladly and gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who are to follow. I will apply for the benefit of the sick. All the measures are required. Avoiding those twin traps of overtreatment and therapeutic nihilism. I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science and that warm sympathy and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for a patient's recovery. I will respect the privacy of my patient, for the problems are not disclosed me that the world may know. Most specially must I tread with care in matters of life and death. If it is given to me to save a life, all thanks. But it may also be within my power to take a life. This awesome responsibility must be faced with great humbleness and awareness of my own frailty. Above all, I must not be a God. I will remember that I do not treat a fever chart a cancerous growth, but a sick human being whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems if I am to care adequately for the sick. I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings. Though sound of mind and body as well as the infirm. If I do not violate this oath, may I enjoy life and art, respected while I live, and remembered with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to Preserve the finest tradition of my calling, and may I long.